Hello everybody, I am so excited to be launching Sweet Cards 3.0. We've made some awesome changes. The bot is now faster than it's ever been before. And then the instructions in filling out the bot are also more streamlined than they've ever been. So today I'm gonna teach you exactly how to use it. Now, if you're a veteran user of Sweet Cards, the instructions are largely the same. Um, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have the bot downloaded on your computer. And you can easily download it by going to the homepage of our website, or actually any page. If you see that there's um, a menu item says, that says the bot, you go right there and you can download it right from the Chrome store. It's free to download, but you'll need a paid membership in order to log in. So once you have it on your computer, it looks like this right here. It's a little ice cream cone logo. And if you click on it, it'll open right up and that's where you can log in and fill it out. So once you have it downloaded, you want to actually go to the website that you'll be carting from. So just because Pleades has some items in stock, I'm going to do a demo on their website today. Um, once you're there, you want to go ahead and log into your account. If you don't already have an account, um, go ahead and create one and save your address in there. This makes the checkout process even faster. Um, there are a couple of websites we support that actually don't allow you to have accounts and that's fine. It'll still work if you're if you don't have an account or if you just forgot to log in, it still works. It's just that the fastest way to cart is if you are logged in um, and you want to make sure that the information that the boutique has on file for you is going to match exactly what you put into the bot down to your email address. So you need to have same name, same address, same email address. This just eliminates the risk as much as you can of your transaction not going through because something doesn't match either with your billing address or with their own website. I've seen that happen before. So just make sure that everything matches up perfectly. Now, once you're logged in, you want to go ahead and go to the page where the products are going to load. So right here, they have their available items under available items, but on Well-Dressed Wolf, for example, items will typically load under Shop All. So just go wherever the items are going to load. <clears throat> now you want to make sure to close all the other tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and close out our website. The only tab that should be open is the boutique that you're going to be carting from. Now, the next step is to make sure that the bot is on. So right now, the bot is off. So this little toggle here is gray. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And you can see that auto refresh the website. And now these little add cart buttons all appear. Um, one point for veteran users, we've actually integrated both of the tabs into one. So now there's only one little toggle here. It just we felt that that was a little bit more streamlined. So no need to worry about two toggles anymore. Only one toggle. <clears throat> All right, now we're going to fill out the bot. Now, again, for veteran users, most things are the same, but we've moved, we've removed a couple of the old buttons that were there. Um, so you just put in your name, your email address, your address, um, zip code, phone number. Here's the credit card section. You pick your card type. Uh, name, credit card number, expiration date. A couple of notes here. Your name here should be exactly as it appears on your credit card. Um, <clears throat> and your expiration date should be formatted with a slash. So here I put 01 slash 19. This is, of course, fake credit card information. But um, in the past, it needed a space. That is no longer the case. Um, Shopify, which is the e-commerce platform that all of our boutiques use, they changed their website, so we had to update our recommendations to you. So expiration dates always now should be entered with a slash. If you put a space, it will not work. So make sure it's a slash, um, your expiration date. <clears throat> and um, you don't need to memorize all these fields. If you take the information out, you can see that it'll, it'll tell you exactly what needs to be put in there. <clears throat> and then down here is the size. Now, the size is incredibly important. If you don't have the correct size into the bot, the bot either may not work or it may not know the right item to buy and it could end up getting you the wrong size. So always put it in exactly as the website formats it. We have size charts on our website and I'll put the link 
in the video description. It's also going to be in our written tutorial that's on our website. And before every Well Dressed Wolf, Omi Joe, or Wildling release, we also send out an email to all of our subscribers with the size chart for that day. So um, put in the right size. And in this little um, demo here, I'm going to try to get a 7Y um, because that's the size that's available in this dress. And then the last step is you check terms and conditions and click save. Now, if you don't click save, this information is not going to save. It's going to be blank and you're going to have to redo everything. So just make sure before you cart, you click save. Um, and you can see that auto refresh the website. So now all that you need to do to cart from here is click add cart. So let's see what happens when we do that. Boom, it takes us straight to checkout and it's going to try to check out with our dummy information that we have here. This is so, so, so much faster than trying to check out manually. See, it already went through. Of course, this is, again, fake credit card information, so it's not going to go through. But that is just how quickly it can check out. So let's go back. Once you make your first purchase, you can just turn the bot off and be done. But if you do want to make another purchase, let's see the steps. After the first one is done, you're going to go directly back to the page where the product's loaded. A lot of people, they keep this link copied on their computer, so you copy it ahead of time. And then right after the transaction is done, you go right back, you paste it back in your browser, and you can go back and buy another item. It's that simple to, that's how people can cart three and four items on a single release when they use a bot. If you do need to change the size to get a sister step, for example, change it in the bot, click save, and then click on the item. If you don't need to change the size, the bot stays on, just go back and click away. Um, with sweet carts, you can also use multiple computers in the same household as long as they're connected to Wi-Fi. So that also really increases your chances of carting if you do have multiple computers available to you. <clears throat> so that is pretty much it. That's the gist of using it. We're available Monday through Friday. We typically work normal business hours from like nine to five, um, and that's Eastern time. However, on release nights, we are we do stay up and we answer questions into the night. To reach out for any customer support, please reach out to team at sweetcartsclub.com. That is the only inbox that we monitor. So occasionally, emails will come from other email addresses, but we do not monitor those inboxes. So please reach out to team sweetcartsclub.com. There's also a contact form on our website. And then we also regularly answer messages sent to us on our official Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash sweetcartsclub. So if you have any questions, please reach out. I give people um, demos over the phone all the time. So if you really feel like you need that extra support, don't hesitate. I'll give you a call and walk you through it and make sure that you feel confident to um, cart the item that you want on the next release. So thank you so much again and have a wonderful day.